In this video, we are going to talk about the other bones of our body. We have seen how different type of movements are made possible by the help of joints. Now we are going to have a closer look at the other bones that make our skeleton. What is a skeleton? Have you ever had an x-ray? If you have, you would have seen that bones from different parts of our body join together to make our body frame. This is called the skeleton. The skeleton of fully grown human has 205 bones. The skeleton provides strength and rigidity to our body. If we didn't have bones, we would probably flop around like a jellyfish. The skull. The skull is the protective covering for the human brain. It is made up of 22 bones and has fixed joints. The spine. The spine or the backbone is made up of 33 small bones called the vertebrae, out of which 9 vertebrae are fused together. Each vertebra has a hole in its middle for the spinal cord to pass through and connect with the brain. The spine is like a stand that holds our body straight. Ribs There are 24 bones that make the rib cage. As the name says, the rib is a cage that protects some vital organs like the heart and the lungs. The pelvic bone also known as the hip bone, the pelvic bone is made up of many bones joined together. They enclose the lower portion of our stomach. There are other parts in the skeleton that are not as hard as the bones and allow the body to bend and move. These are called cartilages. Cartilage is found in joints and the human ear. We have learnt about bones that make up the skeleton. We have learned how they provide support for our bodies, help form our shape and protect our vital organs. But bones don't work alone. They need muscles to help them move. So let's talk about muscles. All movement in our body is controlled by muscles. Some muscles work without us thinking like our heart beating. Now we don't think that our heart should beat and it beats. It just beats on its own. Other muscles are controlled by our thoughts and allow us to move around. Muscles work by expanding and contracting. When the brain says move, the muscle contracts and pulls the bone it is connected to. At the same time, the muscle on the other side of the bone relaxes to allow the bone to move with the pull. This is how back and forth movement gets done. So we have talked so much about how joints, bones and muscles work together to help us in walking, running, turning, bending and so many other movements. But have you wondered if it's the same for all animals? Do all animals have bones and muscles? In our next video, we are going to talk about how movement is made possible in animals.